Hello. This next example will be using the drug dopamine. Dopamine can be given for many different things. Uh, tends to be given for someone who needs a little bit of help with their pressure support. Uh, and it's hung in the ICU and some step downs if it's set at a certain rate. So you may encounter this drug. And we know that dopamine is also hung with the parameters of micrograms per kilogram per minute. So we're going to assume a scenario that says you're coming on shift and you notice that the, pro that the pump is programmed at 25 mLs an hour with a bag of dopamine that's 800 milligrams in 500 mLs. Okay, and you want to figure out, well, I know the pump is going at 25 mLs an hour, but how much drug is actually infusing into the patient? So let's go back to our beginning where we say, what are we solving for? So in this case, we're solving for the solution of how much drug is given in micrograms per kilogram per minute. So I'm going to start by putting out there what it is I want to solve for. By putting out there what I'd like to solve for, that'll give, keep me on track of what information I bring into the equation. Okay. Well, I know that I have... Um, we know that we have a pump going at 25 mLs per hour. Now, you can really start anywhere in the equation. It doesn't matter which component you bring down first. You just have to do that in an organized manner. So here, I'm going to start solving for my time frame. So hour is not what I want. I want minutes. So I'm going to now say, well, one hour is 60 minutes. So now I can cross out those hours. I now have one of my denominators that I need. OK, I do need a weight. And we don't, oh, and I'm sorry about that. I realized I didn't put the weight. The weight is a 100 kilogram patient. So now that we have that, I can put my um, 100 kilogram patient in there. So now I have kilograms is what I need here as well. And I can cancel out that one patient. It's just something you put there just to make sure you keep yourself on track as you go down the line. Okay. Well, I still have mLs here, and I don't need mLs. I actually need micrograms. So the only thing that I have up here that can help me get to micrograms is my drug. So one thing I need to know is, well, 1,000 micrograms is the same as 1 milligram. Then, once I have my, now that I have milligrams up here, I need to cancel that out because I've just added that to an equation that I don't need. Here I identify that I've received my numerator um, descriptor. And now I just say, okay, well, one milligram is the same. And then I put in my um, drug, 800 milligrams and 500 mLs. Okay. Now, by bringing that over, my mils cancel out, my mils cancel out, my milligrams cancel out, and now I'm left with just the three things I need. One microgram up top, a minute on the bottom, and a kilogram on bottom. And that leaves me with 6.7 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. I guess I've got out of my my viewing screen there. Okay, so 6.7 micrograms per kilogram per minute. That's how much drug is infusing when your pump is set at 25 mLs per hour. Okay, well let's say the provider comes by and says, I would like to change this order and we would like now to give this patient a set dose of 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Okay, well, now that's going to change my rate. 
because he wants to give, he, she wants to give a set dose. So I need to know how much do I plug that in on the pump. And on the pump, we deal with mils per hour. Okay, so first thing I do is I bring down. I say, okay, I want 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Okay, here I know that I have a bag that is, um, I want mils on top, so I'm going to put my mils on top which then puts my drug amount on the bottom. I can cancel out that one patient because that's just a space filler. Here, I still, am I ready to cancel anything out yet? No, but I can identify that I have achieved at least my numerator descriptor. Okay, again, now minutes. I know that 60 minutes is in one hour. So now I can eliminate minutes and I found this. Now from this point on all I have to do is keep plugging information in that allows me to cancel these out. Well in order to get rid of my kilograms what do I need? I need a hundred kilogram patient so I can eliminate the kilograms, eliminate the kilograms and there again I can use that one patient to cancel that one patient if I want. Now I need to change my milligrams and eliminate milligrams from the equation so that I can solve that out. My micrograms, I know that I have 1,000 micrograms equals 1 milligram. Now, by doing that, I have nothing left that I need to cancel out. At this point then I pull out my calculator and my calculator tells me that I'm going to infuse this order of 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. I'm going to infuse it at 37.5 mils per hour.